Welcome to the Camera Guides DVD about taking pictures of subjects you want the most. I'm Darren Kelly, the camera guy, and over the next 60 minutes or so, we're going to look at getting great results with your compact digital, mirrorless camera, or digital SLR. Taking pictures is fun, and today's new digital cameras can be very powerful, but can also be confusing to use. I want to help you feel more comfortable with your new camera and take some of the confusion out of getting great pictures. Your new camera can take amazing pictures and also many of today's cameras can take some great quality video too. We'll go over a few setups and technical details but then I want to show you how to use your camera to get the photos and videos you're looking for. Here's how the chapters are set out that will give you an understanding of the things you need. The DVD is organized into 10 chapters. Chapter 1. A look at exposure and how to control it. In this section, we'll look at things including ISO settings, aperture and shutter speed, and look at the program dial and how to use it to control the exposure of your shot. Then we'll start looking at the individual types of photography. Chapter 2. Landscape Photography We'll look at what you can do to get the most intense colors and detail out of landscapes. I shot this segment during the fall so I could show you the richness of those fall colors. Chapter 3. Portrait Photography and Working with Lighting and Flash We all have people we want to take pictures of and sometimes we can be very disappointed with what we get. I'll help you learn how to set things like focus, composition, and lighting to get the best portrait you can get, and we'll work a little bit with lighting and flash. Chapter 4 Fireworks Photography No matter where you live, there'll be a fireworks display at least once a year. I was in Vancouver recently and took some great shots of the city's annual fireworks competition. I'll show you the settings and how to take pictures of fireworks. Chapter 5 Underwater Photography There are lots of cameras that are built especially tough, and you can take them to the pool or out in the rain and much more. I'll show you how to use those underwater cameras to take some fun pictures at the pool. And then I'll show you what you can get if you're serious about underwater photography. Chapter 6. Vacation Pictures If I've been asked once, I've been asked a thousand times how to take better vacation pictures. I'll show you some of the ways you can capture your vacation. It also applies if you want to make a photo essay of a place or a time. Chapter 7. Close-up Photography I have a friend who loves shooting bugs. I can't stand them myself, but one day in a class, I asked if people liked photographing insects. I got an overwhelming yes to my question. So, we'll take a look at shooting small things. Bugs, flowers close up, coins, anything small and close up. You'll be amazed at what you can achieve. Chapter 8. Selling Things Photography. Well, that's what I call it. The difference between getting the most amount of money for your used or excess or even craft items is taking the best picture you can of them. We'll look at how to take a picture to sell something online, like Craigslist, eBay, and Kijiji. Chapter 9. Shooting Video With the popularity of still cameras to also make great videos, a lot of people are experimenting. And most aren't too pleased with their results. I'll show you how using a few inexpensive tools, I can help you improve your videos and make them much more fun to watch. Chapter 10. Wildlife Photography Even a small point-and-shoot can capture some wildlife photography. I'll talk about what cameras and accessories you might want and show you some types of photos that you'll be successful shooting. We'll cover some other things as we go along, and we'll look at some accessories that you might want to add to your camera bag. I'll also show you how to store your photos, so they'll be safe and sound for generations to come. The first time through this DVD, 
I recommend you watch it from beginning to end. You will find the entire DVD important and full of great tips and techniques. Once you've seen the entire DVD, you may want to revisit a chapter or two when you're concerned or want to be reminded of one or two of the techniques. So without further delay, I recommend you get your camera in your hands and let's get to the starting point, the main menu.